Good evening, guys. Bill McMillan here. Friday evening, just about 6.15 as we record this video. And uh, wrapping up the work week on a very pleasant note. It's been very, very nice seeing the sunshine uh, return yesterday afternoon and continue as we wrap up the work week. And we'll see sun uh, as we go through the weekend as well. We've got a weak weather system that is scooting through the area, giving Iowa some uh, snow this evening and uh, contributing to some mid and high level cloudiness across central and northern parts of the state. But uh, this all, you know, really is not going to be a big deal uh, locally for us. Uh, the, the main message that we want to get across is that we're, we're dealing with a relatively quiet and relatively mild time of things over the next couple of days. Enjoy it. Things are going to change in a big time way as we go into next week. And uh, most likely, as we continue to rumble through Valentine's uh, weekend uh, next weekend. So we'll talk about things here in just a moment. Before we get into some of the data, I want to see if I can pull up a, uh, an image that we uh, sent out uh, on Twitter last night. And this was just trying to illustrate uh, the pattern evolution to uh, a deep trough over the eastern half of the country going into... Uh, next week. And, and what we were trying to do here is, is illustrate the challenges the forecast models were going to have with handling the specifics with these, uh, with these individual upper air disturbances that are going to be racing uh, southeast early in the middle part of next week. And, and forecast models over the weekend will try to hone in on things, but don't be surprised if you're someone who likes to look at these weather apps that uh, you know, may not have uh, snow in the forecast per se for early and midweek. Uh, most of them probably by this point have snow there Monday, Tuesday. But I think there's going to be another rather vigorous clipper diving southeast in the midweek period as well that's also going to give us some accumulating snow. So um, the, the modeling will, will begin to fine tune and hone in on things, I'm sure, as we go through the weekend. It's just the overall pattern that is one that just screams. Um, challenges when it comes to the individual timing with these disturbances. But we think Monday, Tuesday, and then probably again Wednesday into Thursday is the best guess right now for accumulating snow prospects. And then we've got a, a setup that's, you know, the um, it, it certainly would yield the most significant winter storm of the season. Obviously, that's not saying a whole lot locally, but this could be a very, very widespread and impactful winter storm as we move into the uh, uh, Valentine's weekend. So we'll look at that as well and give you some early thinking here in just a moment. Again, the, the satellite this evening shows those mid and high level clouds scooting through the area. We think overall we're, we're in store for a uh, quiet time of things this weekend. Notice the forecast radar showing that snow over Iowa beginning to dissipate as it moves into drier air locally. All in all, again, a mild and relatively dry weekend before we introduce uh, rain that will transition and change to snow late Sunday and into the day on Monday. Um, taking a look at the uh, GFS forecast model here, this is at 18Z, and it'll show as well uh, some weak ridging in place this weekend, providing the relatively quiet time of things before we begin to introduce rain transitioning and changing to snow late Sunday night into Monday. And we think Monday... Uh, and into Tuesday, we'll have uh, widespread snow showers and bedded heavier snow squalls. This uh, The upper air energy that we're going to be seeing is going to really maximize snow shower and snow squall production, we think. And uh, it'll accumulate around here, light accumulations, but all the same with the wind and the much colder air. Uh, certainly going to feel like winter as we go through the early week stretch. And then the GFS is now beginning to see the, uh, the second clipper diving southeast as you see here, uh, in the midweek period. So Wednesday into Thursday, we probably see another round of accumulating snow across central Indiana. Now we'll fast forward this, and uh, you know this is just for pure entertainment value at this particular point in time, but uh, this is uh, valid next Saturday night, and it shows a developing winter storm uh, to our west. The, the message is not, you know, we, we don't want to focus on specifics at this particular point in time concerning next weekend. Way too early to do that, as we know. But the overall weather pattern is one that does suggest a, a significant winter storm is coming out. Uh, very, very confident on that next weekend. 
the all important specifics obviously will have to be shored up as we move through um, the upcoming work week. But all in all, when you factor in kind of where we've been and some of the ideas out there that have been thrown out con uh, concerning where we're heading and that winter is over with, again, it couldn't be further from the truth. We think we've got a, uh, the potential, at least, of uh, you know back-to-back, potentially-to-back uh, winter events upcoming just in the next 10 days alone. So a lot on our plate. Uh, we'll have an extensive uh, update Saturday morning. Uh, trying to dive a little more into uh, you know the specifics around each event. Um, so be sure to tune back into NDWX.com tomorrow morning for that. We'll have that available for you. But all in all, as we put the GFS into motion, again, just for pure entertainment value, at this particular point in time, it does show that widespread winter storm coming out through the Ohio Valley. Valentine's weekend certainly would be uh, impacted by a significant winter storm should that verify. Um, again, just wanted to show that for now. Know that it's far too early to pin down specifics, but also know that confidence is higher than normal. Um, you know, at least trying to, um, you know, suggest uh, the, the weather pattern would suggest that we've got a winter storm of significance to deal with uh, next weekend across somewhere in the Ohio Valley region, the Midwest, and uh, we'll fine-tune those details as we move forward. So keep an eye on it. And uh, wrapping things up, before we let you go this evening, this is our latest seven-day forecast. Uh, generally a quiet time of things this weekend. We've got a rain-snow mix in your Sunday, most of Sunday, will be dry. It's not until Sunday night before the precipitation begins and begins to change over to uh, snow late Sunday night. Monday, Tuesday, again, widespread snow showers, some embedded heavier snow squalls, and then uh, we think we've got another disturbance to, to deal with during the middle part of next week. Guys, that'll do it for the quick video update here Friday evening on NDWX.com. Again, Saturday morning we'll have a uh, post uh, that'll kind of uh, deal with the um, you know, specifics around timing and most importantly the impacts locally from uh, the disturbances moving in this fast northwest flow and then we'll also give some early early thinking concerning the winter storm potential next weekend. Make it a great evening guys. We'll talk with you soon on NDWX.com.